Good morning, good morning. Welcome to the breakfast show today. Trading with Smart Roby Idea. Now we have seen also last Friday Dow Jones has been up for the last three days. And this morning, based on what I've seen, it's poised for another up move. Of course, it may turn to be a sign of weakness at the end of the day, which is a up trust. But let's look at what we have for you this morning in our breakfast show in our program in here and so this morning we are focusing on the beginners level so we'll be looking at pentagon guider chart in here and definitely uh in all the breakfast show we'll be looking our pentagon trade idea and some of them has been focused on the market leader at the same time let's take a look at what we have for us this morning and thank you for coming this morning we really appreciate your time in here and do share this live FB in your timeline so more people can enjoy that and also let me just switch on to the wider chart and look at the uh, this morning what we have for you in the market uh, definitely uh, what we have seen so far the KLCI is still down this morning okay looking at here going to this is STI let me just get to the KLCI uh, Roby chart here and also we'll be checking out the Roby FA fundamental analysis collection in here so this morning as we are speaking and uh, our market is down about eight points and this is also due to the profit taking that we've seen on the big up move now remember any up move that was made on the rubber glove there were a lot of selling coming in here uh, you can see d next is uh, is up two percent here nilex is up 22 percent that was a big big move isn't it surprise there's some really smart money are really pushing mbi is up uh fnn uh, nestle are down of course you can always check out the busa 30 stocks that we've seen in here and you can see on that side hatta and tangaga seems to be the big uh, decliner for this morning here the rest are pretty much even you got a little bit of pink a little bit of green and that seemed to be very good so let's take a look at what we have for you this morning in the local headline news and of course no other than rubber glove the article was on last Saturday that they were talking about uh, from the I uh, iconic worldwide uh, Berhad Group Executive Director uh, Mr. James Tan said that the current ASB glove prices in general has reached to pre-pandemic level. What does that mean? That means before pandemic, the price was there and right now the price is almost similar but also he did mention bear in mind is the uh, cost of production we know the cost of petrol has gone up so cost of latex has gone up nitrate has gone up so that's going to be priced in but other than that the if you look at the chart that we've seen in here and uh, it seems to be breaking up a down move that we have and let me just bring up the chart here you could see we have a green pentagon and remember normally we get green pentagon the market continued to sell off any up move there was a lot of selling pressure coming in here but we have seen another big difference is the volume that's been accumulating here so the market may uh, retest back uh, a little bit older of course today we may see a bit of selling in here but it does form what we call that double bottom and check out using the uh, market stages you will see this market continue rebound back uh, other than that the uob kehyang research noted the current asp continue to decline 3.8 percent month on month remain to be pre uh, pre-pandemic level but given the input cost has considerably be higher in terms of margin so it all points out to roughly the base has been supported so we're going to be looking at reaccumulation. eventually cost is going to go up just like what we have seen in inflation we've seen also in cost of goods petrol prices so asp on rubber glove will go up and then this sector will usually start to move up in here so for those of you who had previously on the rubber glove this is time to maybe take out some of your stocks and perhaps move on to other sectors right i mean we don't want to be averaging down right and compounding possibility the mistakes that we have and more challenges ahead here i think we just want to forget some of the mistakes that we move on and i think many of you would like to have start off with a new leaf and definitely this will definitely give you a chance but you don't need to be out i still have some of my rubber glove in here and i'll continue to uh, see as it move higher now let's move on to the next news that we have is 
CMSP, Chaya Mata, which has been a big player in the uh, Sarawak as it was previously in the family, I believe, of uh, this uh, Sarawak type family in here. But they are looking into oil and gas uh, as they acquired an oil fuel operation of SCOMI Energies uh, that will give them presence in the Middle East and also ASEAN country for when it completes on the third quarter of 2020. So Chaya used to be in the construction, now is making move into the oil and gas. Was this, could this be a good time knowing that oil prices are definitely going higher in here? They may have paid a premium price going on to this but let's take a look at the chart chart wise again very similar to what we've seen with the rubber glove and also the klci in here base building and we all know this is being one of the big capitalization stocks in here if the klci can stable this will also stable in here but yet to see but what we have in here market is moving up a nice space still pretty much in a downtrend you could see the railway track between of the two moving average still heading downwards in here so just be be patient to wait for the kind of crossover we see on the moving average which is another indicator of where the market is going but right now the uh, according to the source the company uh, the company Chaya Mata continue to have a healthy book order will keep them busy for the next one and a half years bidding about two, two to three hundred million project worth of projects in the next six months or so. Now another construction, we all know construction company has turned uh, bullish and we can see right at the hot sector and switching to a wider chart here you can see uh, finance and construction you can see number two construction being the hot sector so chin heng is enjoying a little bit of the nice trend that we've seen in the market in here and they have acquired being the largest shareholder of ajaya about 72 million or 25 percent equity interest in here so chin heng since then just like any construction stock has started to move up trend in here now remember what we saw china that was the railway track down this one is railway track started to go up so that tells you this trend will likely to continue and you first spotted the green pentagon much much earlier on the 13th of february of course there was a big sell-off in here but definitely on the green pentagon uh, earlier on that started to move up to 270 in here something to just take note okay and uh chin in. Now let's move on to the US market that we have this morning in here. Uh, the barons are reporting of the US stock will likely to move higher on Monday. As I said before, uh, the Dow Jones last Friday closes about 280 points. NASDAQ was up. At one point we saw you know, NASDAQ was really struggling, but they managed to pick up some speed and continue to go up in in here and i do think nasdaq is moving up of course those of you um, we have known over the weekend the fed meeting minutes was released and they did raise the interest rate by 25 basis point and that's why we're also seeing the market really likes it and as of it you could see a double bottom forms here one this is the first leg on the left side and on the right side in here and then market scoop back up that's that's nice and that's what we wanted to see in here of course the 4500 s p level will be the level that uh, will be the resistance in here uh so far three days up and you know usually when you get three days it's going to be a little bit of pullback that's what i say the 4550 will be tested tonight but Will it form a sign of weakness or would it break through? I doubt it will break through and usually we want to see the test to the 4,500 level in here to flush out any fresh sellers will likely to turn short to in here. Now on the Singapore side, uh, we have been seen so far, right? Let me just have uh, something that is uh, I wanted to talk on. Uh, on the Singapore side here, uh, let me just go on to this. Yeah. Okay, Singapore side. Uh, right now, also Singapore is has already turned uh, green Pentagon. You could see in here. And uh, let's check out the Pentagon Guider. Going to SGX, just shifting to the bigger screen in here on the Roby chart of SGX. And uh, you could see, oh, let me just go back. Roby chart in here. Hit the Pentagon Guider. And also what I want to share with you is the 
winner that we have so far, right? You can see lots of almost a uh, big big part of it, almost 11, 12 Singapore Airlines SAT. These are the big heavyweight in here. But let's take a look at the uh, bottom in here. And AUE was up. This is a big one. And this morning is also up another 20 points, 20% in here. Uh, AP4, that's the one we were talking last week where we saw the market. Is it a normally of a market leader that we are seeing? Riverstone has enjoyed. But since then, uh, Riverstone has also corrected. I think last Thursday, as I spoke about it, we saw the two bar reversal coming down. And uh, a lot of these are related to energy stock, which have very run. So I don't think you, you want to be going into those, but looking for fresh leader coming into in this sector. Of course, check out the hot sector in the SGX stocks if you really want to look at them in here. Now, the other things that I want to uh, share with you is the NVIDIA. That's right, NVIDIA, Moderna, Nike, and Adobe, and some other stocks are releasing a report this week. So if you look at NVIDIA, which is, you know, what we've been talking about, very similar to what we've seen in the S&P, you can definitely see a trend here. The recovery in the semiconductors as also of Meta was the 270 uh, US dollar resistant. That's the one you will see here. And could this have another impact? Of course, if we do see NVIDIA breakthrough, which I would think uh, should the war coming to more of a negotiation, which uh, President Zelensky was talking about it, uh, wanted to talk to Putin, else he said that that likelihood there will be a third world war. And we don't want to have that, right? Because of the third world war will be fought with, you know, uh, nuclear weapons that's going to be different. But right now, what we've seen from the uh, stock market, that's likely uh, not to be happening. But also check out the S&P 500 futures index or the Dow future index on the trading view to have some sort of, uh, you know, uh, uh, outlook in the coming one or two days, you know, leading to that. All right, uh, let's move on to the uh, next uh, on that. It's our watch list for KLCI and also the US market. And also this morning, let's check out the Smart Roby FA list, which is the uh, SGX turning to KLCI and the FGX FA list. You can see right in the middle in there. It stands for Fundamental Analysis. Uh, collection in here and one of the green trick is the Roby FA intra alert that you see from the chart wise there you could see uh, right now we have BAT HL cap but Dufu seems to be enjoying and Perak transport and also Tambun uh, IJM LBS and of course the earlier one RHB Syntax, some of these Dufu uh, came out on the 17th of March, which is now 21. So that will give you, let's take a look at Dufu right now, 7233, by looking at the uh, uh, this uh, the live chart in here, uh, Dufu. Uh, if you want to know what Dufu does, you can also click on the 7233 and get onto this. So you can see Dufu, very nice pick up the one bar pullback. That's the one we teach in our masterclass that will definitely give you into it. You only get it first, intraday with stock pick and also winner, uh, not to forget the portfolio on the Roby FA Fundamental Analysis Collection. So check it out in there. And if you have subscribed to the monthly plus, you can use it every day no, every 10, 20 minutes because the intraday will be updated and you can see some of these very good fundamental analysis stocks that picks up very similar to the premium alert that we have earlier on. Okay, so let's uh, move on to the next story that we have for you in here is uh, our Pentagon list for March 2022. Now we have uh, pick up Penta. So let's take a look at the stocks that we have over here. MYEG previously we have. So MYEG, yep, continue to hold up. We got up trust in here, but this morning close up 1%. So that's a very nice one. If the KLCI were to hit higher, I do think this is going to move up. We got uh, uh, Sycom, which is very inclined towards the technology. It's not falling much. And you can see you have this big sell-off in here, but recovering and holding up. And today is Penta. Okay, so Penta is the Pentagon chart. You can see Pentagon came out. And you could have entered on the opening at 353. This morning is up 5% in here. So that's a nice one, Penta. And let's set up the, okay, 
the trading plan for the upper and lower bound. We go to Penta, we hit that one, and we go on to the trading plan. Let's put this aside. Okay, and switching to so Penta in here are uh, 389. Let's make it round here about 390 and uh, 387, maybe a 385 exit strategy. We will look at usually I just look at the weekly uh, support is uh, that's three dollars in there. Uh, yeah, that's way, way, way down. Okay, but we can look at the chart from here onwards. Right, and the bottom of the green pentagon, 325, okay? So we have set 325 on the watch list for Penta. Upper bound, edit, is uh, 385 and uh, 325, okay? So this would be our trade idea. Uh, let me just type this in. Okay, now I got connection trade idea that is the 21st March. And we'll save that one. And there you go. So we already set. Now take note, uh, previously we have set SICOM when the, uh, oh, let me just check this again. Yes, it is Penta. It's been set up here. And when the when you see the alert not set, okay, that alert not set, which is on the uh, watch, that means the target, the upper bound or the low bound, or is it here? So you click on the clock that you see here, and you just go on to alert, and you can see Psycom actually hit one one eight on the 13th of March. Okay, they hit 13th of March. So it's something you can do some sort of action in here, trim your stocks. Perhaps you want to exit in here. But since then, Psycom has recovered to 118, back to 119, almost where it is right now. All right, and I'm just bringing you Psycom here. Okay, so you can see Psycom 118, we actually hit here, and right now back to 119. This was the big sellout that we see, and then immediately we saw the market reverse back, hits a slight a double bottom, you can see uh, this market looks like it's going to go up. And you can see also the railway track is actually moving uh, on to the upside. Uh, railway track is winding in there. That's a really a good clue to be looking at. Okay, and uh, the stocks that we are have selected for our 21st March uh, episode 167 is Penta. All right, so we have set those in here and a little bit to share with the audience today. Those of you just want to include here stock trading tips or stock educational tips. I would like it. so we wait for the green Pentagon, look for the volume and see the retest. What we talk about just now, like Nvidia, NVDA, retest back to the old high, which is the 270 level. And for the KLCI, I think it's 1620. Check out the stocks. And for the S&P 500, it's the 4,500 marks in here. Trade with the trend and don't be greedy. Set up your profit target like what we did with Penta in here. And trade with the stop loss target and entry. And more importantly, control your emotion. That will be the uh, educational tips that we have for you this morning in here. And right now, we go on to our... Uh, uh, stock review now if you have any stock review that you want us to take a look in here do a uh, pencil in there we are google play store and apple play store and don't forget to go over to smart roby with this feature uh, watch list and we are coming up with new features on smart roby the more recent one was the roby fa fundamental analysis collection which have intraday portfolio and also Pentagon Guider with good ratings. You can check it out in there. Definitely for those of you who want a bit more fundamental, not just trading the penny stocks. That is another option for you in here from us in here. So uh, do let us know any of the stocks that you want us to take a look. You want us to check it out in here. I'll be happy to you know pencil those in. And thank you for really sharing this tutorial in your timeline. All right and. Uh, if you have any stock, just let us know. And don't forget to smash the YouTube subscribe channel in here for all information that we have. And uh, don't forget to join our and share the, our Telegram chat room uh, uh, URL with friends and colleagues that will enjoy much of our trading education that we have for this morning in here. So uh, if you have any stocks that you want us to look at, feel free to pencil them in. 
right? All right, else, uh, do let us know and I'll see you on Wednesday. And don't forget to check out our value, deep value investing course, which will be happening on April 13 and 14. That's the one that we'll be sharing with you how to find the multi bagger, right? That's also giving you an access to our VSA 360 uh, VSA 360 FA, again, fundamental analysis, not to forget our ever popular Pentagon Guider plugin that will give you the market timing, combining both FA and TA to give you the best of world, unlike elsewhere. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.